Hi everyone, I am incredibly excited that so many of you have joined us today. My name is Chanel van der Merwe and I am the National Business Development Manager at SA Weddings. Our team at SA Weddings has really been at the forefront of dealing with the disastrous effects of the pandemic and understand exactly how it has affected the wedding industry as a whole. As much as there has been so much negativity during the last few months, we have seen so much growth and innovation and sheer resilience from so many of you. Many of you have taken the time to grow, whether it be rethinking your business approaches, rebranding, starting something new and adaptive to the current circumstances, or even just taking that much needed breather and personal time. It has really warmed our hearts to watch the wedding industry stand together. First and foremost, who are we? So SA Weddings started out as Cape Weddings in the year 2000. That's before Google and when dial-up internet connection was still a thing. Originally, we were a directory that enabled brides to contact potential vendors and preview their service offerings. We grew to become SA Weddings in around 2009. But the internet, its capabilities and the way we share and consume content has most certainly changed since then. And we have always tried to be at the forefront of digital innovation in our industry. We are still on the journey to become South Africa's most innovative wedding planning platforms. And we pride ourselves on producing the highest quality inspirational content. And our process is to inspire brides with visual content through style shoots, image galleries, new concepts, innovative features, interviews, and real weddings. But we also understand that simply being a directory is no longer valuable to every single client in the industry. Simply posting content and advertising might necessarily not be the complete package for every client. For example, new businesses entering the industry, they might need more guidance. Therefore, SA Weddings has started taking active steps in becoming an integral part and supportive role in our clients' lives. And as mentioned, we realize that many of our clients need guidance and help and support within their businesses. And we have thus begun integrating business development and strategy into our offering. This year, we have started opening lines of communication with our clients for any business development or strategy needs that they might have. Looking at their offerings and sharing with them what is actually working in the industry and guiding them on how to grow their businesses and stay relevant. Using my business development and business consultancy background, today I would like to showcase how we have started communicating valuable information and support with our clients. I will be sharing some business development, social media and marketing tips with you, which hopefully you can successfully implement within your own business. So grab a pen and a piece of paper and let's get going. I'm going to change to presentation view so I can show you some slides. Okay, let's get going. So I have been part of quite a few webinars just in order to understand which marketing and communication techniques are most effective. And it was quite interesting to hear that from your marketing giants such as Coca-Cola all the way down to your smaller ventures such as Instagram influencers, the communication types and techniques that are working all seem to overlap. And with social media activity increasing by 77% over the COVID-19 period, I think it is quite vital that we assess our online presence, our image that we are portraying, and also our strategy. So probably the most highlighted marketing tip I came across is to be personal. Becoming more personal with your online users and viewers is one of the most important steps in advancing your brand and marketing. Many of you have actually done this already by taking part in Instagram lives and interviews, and this is really great to see. This instills trust and allows your consumers to feel that you are approachable and that there are open lines of communication. This is why marketing through influencers has become one of the biggest advertising trends. People would like to see personality and real-time interaction behind companies instead of just 100% curated content. Tip number two, followers versus interaction. So I know that many of you have been quite focused on growing the amount of followers you have on either Facebook or Instagram, but there has been a complete shift in consumer mindset. Initially, brand trust levels were greatly determined by the amount of followers you had, but due to it being possible to buy followers, consumers have started determining trust 
through engagement on profiles. This type of engagement includes likes, um, your comments, and most importantly, posting reviews from your clients. And I will be touching on this later on in the presentation. So tip number three is about generating interest. And this is definitely one of the most frequently asked questions by our clients. And it revolves around developing content that not only generates interest, but also maintains it. So I would keep the following five things in mind when putting your content together. Number one, is it educational in any way? Is it teaching or showing your viewer something new or innovative? Number two, is your content helping your viewer in any way? Number three, are you sharing enough real life content or are you only sharing curated and stock content? Number four, are you consistent with your content and when you post it? And number five, are you making sure that every post is adding value and that you're not just posting for the sake of it? Keep in mind that viewers remember how they feel when they see your content. If a viewer constantly finds no value or cannot relate to your content, you will soon lose their attention and future interactions. Tip number four, the creator account. So the creator account on Instagram was only formally launched in 2019 and it's predominantly for those who share creative content instead of those who are di directly attempting to sell a product online. I would really like to encourage you to test this account as you don't lose any of your content and it is quite easy to switch back to your business account. One of the pros is that when you start an Instagram business account, your content is only shared with 10% of your followers. They force you to pay to boost your posts in order to grow your audience because you are a business. A creator account is not as restrictive and allows for a wider audience. This account also provides you with daily data instead of only weekly data offered by a business account. And overall, it has really shown a steady increase in interaction for users globally. Tip number five, Instagram stories. Stories are king. This is one of the only social media methods which produces 100% reach. The key to increasing the amount of views on your stories is through engagement. You have to like and or comment on your users and followers content. This is incredibly important. Tip number six, awareness days. So this might seem quite simple, but I've noticed that even the larger social media profiles overlook this. Incorporating awareness days shows that you are a conscious user. You are in touch with your audience and you are also spreading awareness for great causes. An example of this could be if you are a florist by putting together a beautiful pink arrangement for Breast Cancer Awareness Day. You are spreading awareness for a massively influential and important cause as well as showcasing your work. A few very useful tools that you are able to use when putting together your marketing. Number one is Google Trends. So this is able to see what the global conversation is in order to remain relevant with your content. And number two are editing programs such as Canva and Post to My Wall, which we find quite useful for our clients. Okay, so now over to my favorite part, which is UGC. And that stands for User Generated Content. So this can be any content related or associated to a brand, but is not created and or shared by the brand or business itself. Think of influencers who have become one of the most pivotal marketing aids today. They all share user-generated content on behalf of a specific brand. UGC is incredibly effective as 92% of people would rather trust marketing or recommendations from other people or third parties than marketing or brand contents directly from the company. And 86% of millennials, uh, that is anyone between the ages of 26 and 40, which is exactly your target market, says that UGC is a good indicator of the quality of a service or brand. So I would like to highlight three important tips to remember when structuring your marketing plan. And please bear in mind that some of these strategies may be specific to only a few categories in our industry. So I would like to recommend communicating with us if you would like to broaden your perspective or if you would like more examples of how you can implement these steps. So the first tip is something I touched on earlier and that is to post your reviews. Encourage reviews from your clients and share them. 
Make sure you remind your clients to leave reviews on your social media or to post a quick story for you. This goes such a long way and so many of our clients simply just allow their reviews to remain on Facebook and only to feature there in the review section. I would like to recommend screenshotting those reviews and adding them to your stories and highlights on your Instagram. People want to see third party opinions and this is how you build trust. Because 79% of consumers admit to trusting online reviews as much as in-person recommendations. That is a huge metric. So tip number two would be to consider using advertising, marketing or broadcasting avenues such as SA Weddings. Clients understand that businesses are checked and validated before being allowed to market and advertise through channels like ours. And also being associated with more established brands on our site creates a positive mindset for the user or the client. The reach on, on sites like SA Weddings is also unbelievable. We have an average of about 2,000 unique users visiting our site every single day. And in the last 12 months, we've reached over 1 million page views. That's a lot of potential. And obviously the best part is that you will have me and my incredible team for any support, guidance or information that you might need. The last tip is to consider collaborations with larger reputable companies or individuals. We know that collaboration is king and many of the vendors in the industry have mastered this already. Creating content together and having each other share it is so important. It creates conversations, flow and engagement through more than one profile. This is why one of our favorite things to do is to use our clients to collaborate through styled shoots at SA Weddings. You could also consider using influencers if they are relevant to your offering. An example of this was a recent post by a client who offered bridesmaids gifts and they sent a pair of pajamas to an influencer and it was such a complete hit. And that's it. I hope that you were able to take something away from the few tips and tools that I provided. And if you would like absolutely any expansion on what I discussed today, please feel free to contact me. Um, I'm going to leave my details below. And what I'll also be doing is sending out a PDF format and I will also be expanding in that PDF on what I spoke about today. That will be sent out after the conference. I wish you all the best for the time ahead and I know that there are great things coming for our industry. Thank you so, so much for joining.